What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Jasper Dillon here and in today's video finally we're talking about Bill C223 which is an act to develop a national framework for a guaranteed livable basic income as you guys have been requesting it in the comment section on my most recent video. So in today's video we're going to discuss all the details about this particular bill, when it was introduced in the House of Commons, what is the most recent development for this particular bill and what can we expect for this bill going into 2022. Now if you like this kind of content help me out again by smashing that like button right down below and if you're still not subscribed to the channel make sure you do that now before we start discussing the details of bill c223 and when it was introduced in the house of commons i do want to make a quick distinction between two key definitions that are going to help us out when we start discussing about bill c223 now the first definition is universal basic income which means that everyone in society rich or poor gets a monthly check for the same amount of money let's call it two thousand dollars a month at the end of the year now now the government uses the tax system to balance out the scales and recoup that extra cash from higher income earners who didn't end up needing that $2,000 a month. Now on the other hand, the GBI which is the guaranteed basic income is the system that most people are referring to when they talk about basic income in Canada and is the system that Bill C-223 is based on and it is an income contingent system meaning monthly payments only go to families and individuals with lower income and again the Bill C-223 that was introduced December 16th 2021 in the House of Commons is based on this notion of the guaranteed basic income. Now taking a look at the details of this particular bill this bill is an act to develop a national National framework for a guaranteed livable basic income and taking a look at the progress it was introduced first in the House of Commons on December 16th 2021 and the first reading you guys can see from this progress bar has already been completed however the second reading the consideration committee the report stage and the third reading however unfortunately have not been reached for this particular bill and as you guys know a progress of a particular bill when it is introduced in the House of Commons it, it moves from the House of Commons to the Senate if in the House of comments it receives a majority approval and in senate it goes through the same process the first reading the second reading and the third reading and again if it receives approval then uh, the bill receives royal assent and is finally made into legislation so up until now for bill c223 that has not happened however Taking a look at the particulars of this particular bill, Bill C-223, let's take a look at what this is trying to propose uh, for the Minister of Finance, Krisha Freeland. So we can see right over here that this enactment requires the Minister of Finance to develop a national framework to provide all persons over the age of 17 years old in Canada with access to a guaranteed livable basic income and usually that's around $2,000 a month. It also provides for reporting requirements with respect to the framework. So again, this was introduced on December 16th, 2021 and let's take a look at the preamble of this bill. So every person should have access to a basic livable uh, basic income. The provision of a guaranteed level basic income would go a long way towards eradicating poverty and improving income equality, health conditions, and educational outcomes. The provision of a guaranteed level basic income would benefit individuals, families, communities, and protect those who are most who are made most vulnerable in society while facilitating the transition to an economy that responds to the climate crisis and other current major challenges. Uh, moreover, whereas a uh, guaranteed livable basic income program implemented through a national framework and this would be through Krisha Freeland approving this particular bill uh, would ensure that the respect, dignity and security of all persons in Canada and finally Her Majesty by and with the advice and consent of the Senate and House of Commons enacts as follows and obviously this is just the preamble of this bill. We still have to see what is the progress when it moves further in the House of Commons. Now that you know the details of this bill, let's take a look at the speech of the Member of Parliament from the NDP that introduced this bill in the House of Commons back in December 16th, 2021. Mr. Speaker, it is my honor to introduce the National Framework for a Guaranteed Livable Basic Income Act. I would... <laughs> I would like to start out by thanking the Member of Parliament for Elmwood Transcona for seconding my bill, my riding of Winnipeg Centre, Basic Income Canada Network, Basic Income Manitoba, Coalition Canada, Basic Income Canada Youth Network, Senator Kim Pate, former Senator Hugh Siegel, and so many other anti-poverty activists across this country who contributed to the development of this bill. 
As we continue to find ways to make it through the pandemic, we know that those who were already left behind are even further behind. Mr. Speaker, this bill is in response to calls to implement a guaranteed livable basic income from Indigenous, territorial, provincial and municipal jurisdictions who clearly recognize the need to modernize our social safety net. A JLBI is not a panacea, but a way forward to modernize our social safety net in addition to current and future government programs and supports. It will ensure that all people have the necessary supports and resources to live with dignity, security, respect and human rights as affirmed in the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. I'd once again like to thank my constituents and the basic income movement for your support. This is a people's movement. Ms. Gazan, seconded by Mr. Blakey, moves that the bill be now read a first time and be printed. This motion is deemed adopted. So that was the speech of the Member of Parliament from the NDP introducing this particular bill in the House of Commons back in December 16, 2021. However, as you guys can see on your screen, I'm on ubiworks.ca, which is a website that has more information on this bill that we're talking about today. And I'll leave a link to this particular website on the description of this video. And this uh, and this website even has signed the petition and tell your MP to support this bill, the key features of this bill, which we already covered, and what would Bill C223 do? And let's take a look. If passed, this law would require the Minister of Finance, Christian Freeland, with one year to create a Canada-wide framework to implement a guaranteed livable basic income. Simply put, this means that the federal government would need to put together the standards and plan from which it, along with the other levels of governments so of provincial and territorial, could create basic incomes in the jurisdiction. So over here, you have more information that you guys could take a look in your own separate time. However, we can see right over here, and this is very helpful to understand how Bill C-223 will work and the timeline and the roadmap of this bill. And you guys can see right over here the timeline of Bill C-223 for a guarantee level basic income so the bill the first reading has already been done as we just checked on the house of commons main website and that was december 16th 2021 now for the second reading, it is expected to be on uh, on 2022, and you guys can see right over here, members of parliament debate Bill C-223, ask questions and vote whether to bring it to committee or not, and that's to the finance committee as we've seen with Bill C-2 and the progress of Bill C-2. And then after that, that would go to report stage, third reading, Senate, and finally, if approved and it goes through the Senate, this bill would receive royal assent and be made into legislation. Now, that was a quick update on Bill C-223 two to three that is promising a guaranteed livable basic income to most Canadians that are under the poverty line. So if you like this kind of content, make sure to smash that like button right down below. And if you're still yet to subscribe to the channel, make sure you do that. But let me know if you guys have any questions regarding this particular topic, or if you guys want me to cover another particular bill in the comment section down below. But that was it for me today. And I'll see you guys on the next video on the tripod.